Hey everybody, thanks for watching. In today's video, I am talking about the Cisco Room Bar, uh, or really any Cisco endpoint in MTR mode. And what we're talking about is how you can use these endpoints as a completely out of band disaster recovery meetings platform. So the, the use case would be Microsoft Teams is down, the MTR registration quits working, but you still need to have a meeting as an organization. You can do that with Cisco Video Endpoints. So underneath the covers, under the MTR software, the endpoint is still running Cisco's Room OS. You still have pretty much all those Cisco Room OS features. One such feature is Instant Meetings, which allows you to simply create and host a meeting from a video endpoint. Uh, in this case, because it's in MTR mode, I've added a macro button to the touch panel of the user interface. I'll show you how that works in just a second. But um, uh, again, we're going to talk about out of band, and what I mean by out of band is completely no Microsoft whatsoever. So Outlook is down, Teams is down, you can't reach Microsoft at all. We want to make sure that we are completely outside of any dependencies from that perspective. So the way that we would do this is imagine that this endpoint is not working, the MTR functions have quit. In such a case, you're going to have error messages on the screen. The, the navigator is actually going to have some kind of ominous looking messages as well. What you can do is simply come to the navigator and pull out the additional functions. Now you see the little WebEx button that I've added there. That is a, a custom button that I've added and there's a small macro behind that. I have the code in the video description. There's a link for it where you can check that out. Um, and uh, simply you know, open that function and it's going to start an instant meeting over top of the MTR functionality. So. We'll go ahead and hit that. You'll notice the typical device controls uh, for a meeting, right? End call, microphone options, sharing, participants, and so forth. Because this is an instant meeting, it's also going to prompt you to invite people to the meeting. So you can hit uh, the, the invite. If you have a you know, WebEx application deployed in your organization, it'll send them a notification that way. There is also send an email. Now, the good thing to know about this is it does not have a dependency on Outlook whatsoever. So what you can do is send that and the invite will actually come from, I think it comes from like name of room at webex.com or something to that effect. Um, so that will send the invite directly out to participants. The third option, which is pretty cool, is you can actually hit this button here that says share meeting link. It's going to generate a QR code that you can scan with your mobile phone, get the, it takes you to a, a web page with the details from, from Webex you can actually copy that information into choose your application, right? Another messaging application. You can send it as an SMS. You can send it via, you know, whatever. Um, so that is the third option as well. And it's a great way, again, out of band from anything Microsoft. Microsoft's pretty reliable, you know, from a cloud perspective, but just in case, this is completely out of band from that. The only requirements or the only additional costs is simply having this device registered to the WebEx control hub as well. You're probably already doing that to get the analytics and the rich management capabilities. Um, you need to just turn on the ability to uh, host a device hosted meeting. I have another link in the uh, video description. Actually, it's up, up at the, in the corner here. Um, go ahead and check that out uh, if you have additional questions, but there's no additional cost for this. It's, it's you know part of the normal device registration. So uh, again, if you have questions about this, leave uh, a note in the video comment section. Happy to you know, try and answer that for you. As always, thank you for watching and uh, we hope to see you back sometime soon.